Good morning, good morning everybody. Let me just check that everything is working. Let me just have a look at my window. Yeah, looks like we're working. Excellent. Good morning, good morning. I hope everybody is well this fine Saturday morning. Saturday morning with a nice bit of a chilled, relaxed stream. Well, this is what we're going to be doing. This is my reference. We are going to be drawing a uh, druid cat form with the artifact appearance. So this is my, what I'm going to do compared to, let's pop that up there so we can have a look. Nice blank, fresh piece of paper. So pencil wise, we've got our blue pencil, our regular pencil, an HB, and our fine liner pencil. Let's move this off to the side. There we go. Okay, so first and foremost, let's have a look. We don't need these two because we're just going to do some light. As this is a brand new sketch, let's move this. I need a bit of space here. Let me just move this a bit closer. Right, uh, let's just move that over. Actually, I'm going to move my mouse down here so it's not in the way of the camera. That'll be easier. Then I'll move this over so I can see it. So it's looking a little bit dark actually on the paper. So if I start with some lines, well, focus is having a bit of problems. Let's fix the focus. Um, let's go on to the camera settings and we'll just change this so that it stays focused. And I'll probably up the contrast a little bit because I'm actually going to have to move my mouse here. Can't quite see, I'm having to move around a little bit. Turn that off and turn the exposure off. There we go. And then the focus will fix. And then the gain, actually, the white balance will also fix. I'll up the gain a little bit so we can see. Let's try that for a bit. See if that works. Okay, that's a bit brighter at least. There we go. So, thinking about a cat, and a cat's looking at us. So, so this is the this is the reference I've got, which I quite like the looking at whilst standing. But this pose I got from the WoW model viewer using one of the stand idle animations. Now for me, it's a little bit too crouched. So it's a bit low to the ground. I'm thinking of raising raising the posture up a little bit because these the back legs are certainly compressed down. And when you see a cat standing, this this line here where the legs are isn't normally that that compressed down. So what I want to think about when I do this drawing is let's map out some basic areas. I'll put the drawing up here so I can see it a bit easily. Hi, good morning, Evil Dinner. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Trying to just stand my bit of paper up, which isn't it's flopping all over the place. There we go. Right, so let's move that down. So, right, my pencil's not particularly sharp, but we don't need it for this. So, a nice blank sheet of paper. You want to make sure that you've got enough edges, because I need to get the tail in. I'm, I'm hoping you're going to be able to see these lines as I draw them. I'm going pretty light to start with. So I'm thinking the tail 
the tail's going back on itself and then the head the head's right down here so I'm just going to map out the main areas now with a head it's obviously a the shape of a head is more of a cone you're just about getting these in hey it's come life how are you 2.08 a.m. Wow, super super late stroke early, depending on where you're at. Just can see those in the um, on the camera. So we're just doing light light views at the moment. So I'm blocking out shapes. That's the head looking towards us. And then we're gonna have the ears, we're gonna come up here probably. And up there. That's to give me the shape of the head, and then I'm thinking you want you want a think curves. So the the body is quite arched up here. You want the flow of the line like that. So the the basic the basic line is like that, a nice big curve. That's the that's the curve of the whole body. So the shoulders are up here. This is the main thing, is when a cat is standing, um, the shoulder blades are so, so flexible. Get to bed. You must force, must rest. <laughs> yeah, that, you need to make sure you can rest. That's true. So I'm thinking the shoulders here, the body's actually going to be quite short, so hip-wise, the cat's hip is going to be here, and the shoulder blade is up here. Now a shoulder blade is quite, quite sharp up there when it comes up through there, and the hip's here. So now I need to plant it down on the ground with some weight. So, thinking leg is a one knee joint, foot. I want to rotate the foot out a little bit. That's going right down to the bottom of the page. Now what would be nice is this, this is coming out here, so there's the joint, elbow, down, down, this could do with being a little bit further out, perhaps lower the elbow down here, I'm going to just kneel up a little bit for this so I can look down on the paper because this is a bit easier. There we go. So I want to look, I want to see where the weight is. And again, the claws are gonna come out towards the camera a little bit. So I'm doing like a spade, a spade shape. Coming out here. Then you've got to think the rib cage the chest cavity is all going to be round here. The neck is bent round this side. And then you want to plant the other legs so that we're balanced. I've probably got a bit more room to extend that tail round. I could maybe even move that. It's a little bit compressed here. I want to extend the body out a little bit more perhaps because I think the space between here and there is a bit small. Well, it might not be. Let's look at where the other back leg would be. If we pull it down, you've got to think this length here is the same as this length here. So 
So again, down, angle, down, and then foot. It's probably too compressed there. That's what it's like in the model viewer, which is what I wanted to avoid a bit more, because that, that compressed shape, I'd want it more, more down here. And that changes my camera angle a little bit, so maybe these have to be a bit lower, perhaps. Ah, good morning, Costa. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. How was your King's Day? So now we've completely changed everything. <laughs> hey, Emery, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Why are you up, Kaifin? Good morning. That's right, Emery. I was following on. Your suggestion inspired me when I was thinking, okay, you said druid, and I thought, right, druid cat form, because I love, absolutely love, drawing cats, big cats. So I've gone with cat form artifact appearance. Let me see. You see on PC what you're doing. It's very, it's very light at the moment. Um, actually, let's see if I can change that with the contrast. Um, because it is, I'm just doing the light version of the drawings at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can. Let's just move this around. Hold on. Now that I've got some pencil lines on the paper, we can probably configure this to up the contrast a little bit. I have to move around because my lighting is hanging over the edge of my monitor, if you could see it. So contrast wise, that's not gonna help. Uh, brightness, not gonna help. Backlight compensation, no. I wanna just get this subtleness in, which I'm not sure you're gonna see until I start actually drawing. No. None of the contrast settings are going to help. And if I turn the exposure down, I don't think that's going to help. No, because then we get the, the light flicker in. I think I probably made it wor worse. Well done. Just about got some details in there I think there we go is that better does that work I've just turned the brightness down a little bit hey talentless Jack how are you yeah the the, the contrast can be a bit of a tricky one because because these are so subtle they're so close to the white we can't see it quite so much I'll, I'll adjust it as I put some more um, Oh yes, sorry Costa, I, I'm kneeling up at the moment because I wanted to look down on the drawing. There we go, and I'll sit back down um, and we can have a look at things a bit more easily. There we go. There we are. Okay. Let's try that for a little bit, see if that works. Oh, I've just dropped my, my drawing, my reference. So that's the reference for those that have just come in. That's what we're aiming towards. But we're, we're just changing the posture slightly because this is a bit low down for me. So what I'm doing is I'm just mapping out the key landmarks, shoulder blades, hips, just working out where I want the legs to go. So I'm thinking further back now this, this is planted down here, to get the proper weight we want to solidly put this because the head is over where the paw is. So this is coming up behind and then you do like duck paddle feet for where the I mean, this isn't truly how a cat is, because a cat, 
The cat stands on its paws, which are like that. Whereas what they've, they've done, they've extended the paws out with the claws that are coming out here. And the same with this. The actual paw is just a block down here. And then the claws are coming out down there. That's probably rotated a bit too much around, I think. There we are. We've got eyes now. <laughs> this will be easier once I've gotten some more more details in. I'm trying to think swiveling wise where this where this is facing. I'm not entirely sure whether I want to be side on or slightly turned. I think slightly turned brings brings us towards the camera a bit more. The same with the hips, I almost want to tilt those out a little bit. Let's think about flesh at the moment, so muscle here, knee here, back this this heel bit here has a nice roundness to it. You don't see it on the uh, on the actual drawing because it's covered in fur. And then they've got massive paws. Really over accentuated the paw size. So this would be big paw, big paw. You've got that, that shape, and then they've obviously added the claws in, which they've done as non-retractable claws, which, as we all know, a cat does not have. But we're going for big, cartoony almost, World of Warcraft style -y. And the tail round. Now that I've got this on my drawing, the tail's just coming back like that, but I want to swoosh it around and have it longer. So this is here, it comes back. Out and out. I can afford to be a bit bolder with my drawing now because I'm doing this to get the shapes in. So the knees coming down, this fur is actually filled in quite a bit. And then that's coming heel, knee, now where would your heel go? And we've got big, big paws again. This one's turned the other direction, so you don't see the other sides. So the claw's going to come out that way. So we've got the back end there. Let's move my mouse. There we go. So, yeah, so that's the back half roughly planted down then thinking okay we want a nice bit of thinness here but this is big shoulder we're going to have extra armor in here as well anyway so this is just to give me some body things and then that shape there we'll do an elbow we've got a tricep here an elbow here and then extra extra chest strength body stuff there that's going to be there big paw big world of warcraft paw claw well these are going to be covered up anyway so we can we can worry about that in a bit and then big floofy mane is going to be down here, like that. And then ears are going to be up there. Okay. 
the song Evil Dinner is I'm using the Everness um, YouTube channel and I'm playing the Dalaran World of Warcraft music and ambience, which is really cool. So it's like an hour long ambience. So it's just the Dalaran um, background music. It's the song you were playing, like walking in a flower garden. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's move this over so we can see. So that's basic, basic structure down. What I'm thinking now is to add in armor and what have you. I might do a bit more to the face actually before I go on to that. So face wise we can we can use our reference quite nicely I think because we've got some lovely shapes and lovely fur um, shapes all going around here and it's in the angle that I quite like. So looking at that you start with the eyes mainly so that's the bridge and then I want to, now they've got the eyes quite forward facing obviously because we're a cat, a predator so you want to really make those eyes where would a cat's eyes be? This is the important bit. The eyes are where you look straight at first and foremost. Is that too wide? I wonder. And sharp corners. There you go. So then, as we're looking down, cat nose. Cat noses are great because they go, you've got this kind of diamondy shape, not diamond, um, like a slab almost. And then that comes out either side. And then you've got the poofy. Sure, my cat would hate me calling them poofy. Bits coming out from here. Which cover, and in this case, it's going to be canines. So, uh, drawing the lines, we do have these. Mine's quite narrow compared to the. Um, this one, this one's quite wide, wide facing like a lion. I'm thinking more panther -y. And then, let's go. Super duper fangs. Ooh, wow. Hello, everyone. I've missed the follow. What was that? Uh, had a, 1D Tran, thank you ever so much for the uh, the raid and everyone who's coming by, thank you ever so much. How was your stream? I hope it went well. Welcome everybody who is coming by. Um, my name is Samadan and I mainly play World of Warcraft, making gold and occasionally I do a creative stream where I draw World of Warcraft, which is where we're at here at the moment. We are drawing a druid um, cat form uh, artifact appearance. So here we go, this is the reference image we've got, and this is where we're headed. So we're going for a bit more sleek and sinister um, with this version, and I'm trying to keep the the legs and the arms higher up. So we're working on that one. Oh, Cassandra, thank you ever so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. And Jeff Backer, thank you very much. 
Lots of torpids. Excellent, Wandy Tran. Fantastic. Thank you ever so much for the raid. It's extremely kind of you. So we're currently just mapping out this. We haven't done this in... Um, this is the very first start of the drawing. We've only been going for about half an hour, so half an hour of rough sort of sketching out the form is where we're at at the moment. And then we're going to go further and further into the detailing. I'm going to use, um, I'm using just like a blue um, colour erase by Sanford pencil which just gives me a nice, if I was ever to scan this in, I could use the blue to just um, take that out in Photoshop so it's quite easy once I draw over the top. Gonna have a fun time, definitely Cassandra. Um, I'm enjoying, I love cats, big cats are my favorite things to draw. Um, I mean, I've been drawing regular ones with um, Love my workstation setup. Thank you very much, uh, Rich Susan. Thank you very much for the follow. Yes, I'm currently sat on the floor. Um, you can't see it around me, but I've got three desk lamps um, just in front of me and to the side of me to give me some light. Now I think actually having this mouth open. See if you look at the reference, the mouth is kind of closed. Um, but I think actually having the mouth open will give us a, a nice, a nicer, I'm going to make the chin a little bit, and we can bring the chin out a little bit either side, perhaps, just around the teeth, because a saber tooth, if you ever see a saber tooth cat skull, I used to have a replica one, which was amazing. Um, these um, these canines. Now these are more front on. Uh, they are actually more. When you look at a, a, a saber tooth cat, they're more slightly to the side. Because this is going a little bit walrusy, I'm thinking. But for our purposes at the moment, you still do see them um, at the front, but they're quite a bit narrower. If you were to look at this from the side, it's quite um, it's quite wide like that because uh, obviously saber tooth um, is like dirk tooth which is where it comes from a dagger from a dirk so the 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 side on view is a bit more a bit more like that so I can just rub that out there we go am I comfortable sitting on the floor yes I am Cassandra it's actually um, it is very comfortable um, it's quite good for my posture because it means I have to um, tuck my abdominals in to think of a better word which keeps me more upright because I do get a bad back from time to time and that's mainly from sitting on regular chairs so this is actually uh, for me has proved brilliant because I haven't had a bad back in ages so something's working so I'm just going to block out big eyebrow shapes so that then I've got an anchor point for the ears which are going to be either side there and then ears, the, the, the druid ears, these are huge really long pointy ones which I want to make use of let's go sweep up like that and then I'm actually going to go round like that and then this one I'm going to go round like that. There we go. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, it was. It's quite comfortable. Imagine. Um, the only thing you've got to watch out for is having. I'm sat cross-legged at the moment, so you do need to sort of stretch your legs out from time to time. Um, that can cause a problem. Uh, Meza, Meza Roboto. Thank you very much for the follow. It was very kind of you. We're not seeing the insides of the ears, so I'm just going to do the... I think I'm going to curl that one round as well. I don't want to go too symmetrical. I'm kind of losing a little bit of the shape there and my fuzziness of that part, so I'm just going to take some of that fuzziness out. 
I was a bit unsure as to where that was going, so let's do a let's do a sharper line there. That gives me a better anchor point. There we go. Not uh, not my cat. Um, my cats are. Where are they? I'm one sat by the door. My my cat's too fluffy for for drawing. I'm drawing a druid uh, cat form from World of Warcraft at the moment. Hey Buddha, how are you? Hold on. I need to just type in the chat because uh, Buddha, who joins in my chat, is actually deaf. So doing um, typing is easier for Buddha. So I'll have to make sure I type in for Buddha. There we go. There we go. Yeah, druid form. Now I do have a troll druid myself, um, which is obviously look doesn't look like this, but Emery was. Um, oh, I noted. Thank you ever so much uh, for the cheer. Very kind of you. Always love the art streams. Well, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Thank you very much, Wendy Tran, for the drawing. Coming along, comment. There we go. And good morning, everyone. Ah, oh, and Imagination Studio. Thank you for the follow. Now, I do actually need to sharpen my pencils, but I haven't got my sharpener with me at the moment. So what I'll do is I've got spares. These are all my spares of the same things. They're all pretty blunt. So I'll just swap over to one of those if, if we need to. We're just mapping out the, the various bits anyway. Now, these... These are these look great. These side uh, fluffy bits. So um, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. I try to keep my streams as chilled as possible. If you ever come to one of my gold making streams, it's very similar, as I hope others will attest to. Is we just keep it nice, casual, chatting and having a good time together. So this, this is coming out, I want to keep these out, and then some downward ones down that. Ah, oh, thank you Wendy Tran for the follow, and again for the host, that was amazing. Alright, so this, this one's going to come down here, and then we've got some depth to it, so we'll put some things behind, but then we don't want to disjoint the head from the body. They are two of the same things. So, I want to think fur wise, that's going to come round like that. It's almost like feathers, these big clumpy bits of fur. I mean, cats do have their, their cheek fur, is amazing. Um, if you ever stroke a cat, it's, it's cheek fur, it's just so soft and amazing. Thank you very much, Cassandra. Thank you, Arnota. Very kind of you to say so. Is the music okay volume-wise? Is it um, is it just nice background volumes? I've got Everness on, which is World of Warcraft Ambience on YouTube. It's a really good channel if ever you want to have this kind of background game music. Normally, when I'm playing World of Warcraft, you just have the the regular World of Warcraft ambience on. So I'm just gonna do these bits around here. He's kind of I can see they're coming through on the camera, so that's good. I want to make sure. So for those of you that have um Oh, good night, Buddha. Hold on. Uh, good night, Buddha. Thanks for stopping. Bye. There we go. There we go. Oh, and you're off as well, 1D Trent. Okay. Uh, I love to stick around, Sam and Dan, but it's 2.30 a.m. Okay. Thank you, 1D Trent. Thank you ever so much.
Thank you ever so much for the host. Been waiting all day for my stream. <laughs> oh, you're not leaving. Okay. Right, I'm with you. Got the wrong ones. Hey, Rich Susan, how are you? Thank you. Lol, sorry, Buddha. Hold on. Thank you, 1D Tran. Good night and have a good rest. I hope to see you. I'll try and catch um, one of your streams. I'll pop you on follow and have a look. Another one down here. Oh, Valios, thank you ever so much for the follow. That's very kind of you. So for all those that were um, coming in and following me, thank you ever so much. I've got a, I have got a follower goal, which we're 50 away from now, from getting to 1,000 follows. And I'm going to be giving away um, one of my drawings of Gen Greymane, which I did way back um, on my first creative stream. And so when I get to 1,000 followers, I'm going to arrange to do a, a giveaway. Um, so thank you all for your follows. That's going to be uh, that's going to be well on target. In fact, I'll show you the drawing. Where is it? Hold on. There we go. There we go. No one on some sign in just in case someone comes in who can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you don't sign either. Okay. Uh, Aquilas, thank you for the follow. Very kind of you. And Bushy, thank you also. Lip read when I can and, I, and where I can't. Yeah, the problem with my lip reading is Bushy Beard. <laughs> That's very true. I'm difficult to lip read. So this is this is the Gen the Gen Greymane drawing that I'll be giving away at a thousand follows. So I'll post this out and sign it to their name if they want. Um, so that's going to be my giveaway at a thousand follows. I've already signed my name on here, but I can sign it to whoever if they would like. So that's what I was doing. Um, and my one drawing that I was doing before this new one was this Naga drawing. So that was my last stream we were working on this one, which we've now completed. I haven't signed that one yet actually, so I'll make sure I do that. But now we're on to Druid cat form drawing. So this is where we're going to get to with this one. Yeah, I do obsess over the details. I spend a long time doing, doing the details. That one, that Naga drawing took me about uh, 16 hours in the end. I did it all on stream as well. So it takes me a few sessions to do it. I like to get, I like, I like drawing details. I like noodling them in. So I'm just going to work on the bushiness of the the back fur, which starts off small and then it's going to get bigger into bigger clumps, where it actually goes right up over the back, really high on the on the model. So I want to make sure I get those in. Just get some spikes in first. 
and then I can map out the rest over the top of that. Because the fur, it flips and floats, swirls up the back. And then we're getting into the back shape there. So I'll work that down. Like that and that. So we're going to have a little bit of fur detail and then maybe I'll put an extra one up the back here and another one in here to give that some volume. I'm actually going to go a bit further there. Don't want to make it too even. So I'm going to take that up, up the back and then a bit more out from the ear maybe because we want we want a big a big floofy fluffy area like that looks like Shara Sladar from Dota I don't know, I'm not familiar with the Dota characters oh yes to list. thank you ever so much for the follow it's very kind of you so looking at that before I do any more fur around this area, this area is going to have um, the armor on it. So we've got this big armor plate here, which has got the, the, the shoulder that covers the shoulder, and then it's got some extra. I'm not sure how that attaches, actually, looking at the drawing. There's extra shoulder armor. So we want to think about that shape there. Now this one, this one's coming down up the back a bit more. But if you look at the angle of this paw, this, this um, not paw, this arm up here, um, we want to follow that angle more, but it's gonna be sat on the back. So I'm thinking I'm going to take the. I'm going to follow the the diagonal line there. So this is the back side. We've got the um, triceps just just here on the side. So we're we're coming down from the side of those, and then we've got the big curvy sections. Now this is tilted slightly, so it's more. You're seeing more that side than you're seeing this side. So I'm going to do this, this thinner. So the distance between there and there is thinner because that's curved away from us and this side is curved more towards us, which is why you can see this, this curve a bit better. Just looking at this, this curve here versus this curve here, it's the same kind of principle and the same if I do the top of it, I'm going to rotate mine round a little bit more. So I want, there's two kind of big curves. There's that curve, where that comes to a point there. And then there's this curve, which is shallower. So you want to keep the point, keep the shallowness of that, but then that bends. You don't see the point of this one so much. So I'm going to pull that round for that kind of shape, which means there, then we've got two panels that gives us our, our druidy light, for want of a better word, coming out here, it almost looks like a smiley face, and then I'll pull that away there. And then the circle is going to be up at the top here with that shape coming in the top. And then another circle inside. And then that shape comes over the top. There. Something like that. 
It gives me, oops, no, wrong side. It gives me a little bit. I haven't even drawn in pencil yet. This is just basically um, mapping it out. I'll go back over this um, in my noodly detail pencil uh, a bit later. So looking at that, actually, that's looking quite, quite thin. I'm not sure if I might want to expand that out a bit more. Because this has got, ah, uh, I see. There's an extra armor plate just underneath here, which I didn't see because of the darkness of the printout. Yeah. Ah, chivalry. Thank you all so much for the uh, follow. It's very kind of you. So this would explain that this extra stuff up here, because I think this is being intersected by the by the model. Um, so really, what we want. Because the model's obviously low resolution, when the animation goes on, it doesn't always work out. So what we can do is we'll make use of that, and we're going to stick the spikes up there, and this can help represent our shoulder blades armor. It's going to come up here, so I'm going to make more use of this. In fact, this this whole thing could probably do with being a bit wider. I think I've curved that around too much by comparison to this. So let's just pull that out, and we'll work on that a little bit wider. There we go. You just did uh, three runs of uh, Blood Furnace and got two and a half stacks of Nether Weave. Nice evil dinner, very nice. I've not done any Nether, nether Weave farming myself. I'm going to bring this out a lot wider to accentuate that shoulder more so. And bring that down, draw in our smiley face again. Just going to make that a bit more armoured and stick the circle back in over the top. So I've just made that a lot rounder in feel because it was looking a little light as a in terms of shoulder. If you're going to if you're going to put armour plating on your shoulder, you might as well cover your shoulder. So I think that would give me a much bigger. I'm going to stick an extra spike down there, even though you can't see it. There we go. The head. Oh, didn't miss. Uh, there we go, Costa. Um, da -da -da -da, I missed quite a few. Um, do I sell my drawings by any chance? Not at the moment, Buddha, no. And did you draw it like it's further back? The head seems so small. I have, I have done it more narrow um, by comparison to this one, Costa, because I've done it. A bit sort of sleeker. I see what you mean though. If I hold this up. Yeah. I can see what you mean. It does seem too small, doesn't it? Just have a I'm holding it away from me now, so I can see it a bit better. Yeah, I could probably do with pulling that out quite a bit, looking at that. There we go. Um Thank you, uh, Evil Dinner, for the uh, translation. Yes, I haven't done it at the moment, but I am considering putting some of my drawings on. So, before we get too far into it, let's look back on this and think, okay, I'm, I don't want to... Things that make me want to change this drawing. One is the back legs make me look... looks like his bum is bending round too much. This this leg is too far round from this leg. So that I'm not I'm not so pleased with. I think that positioning needs to be redone. And as Costa was saying, I think the head, I'd agree with you looking at that, the head is too small. 
Right, what I'm going to do, we're going to grab some water, come back and look at it again. Um, and then we'll have a look at readjusting this. And I might rub out this and rub out this, keep that, and then, and then work on it a bit more. There we go. Like a bloodhound. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit more dog-like at the moment. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Screen on, hold on. Um, where's me? Where's me BRB screen? I'm back. Right. Back to drawing. There we go. Okay. Um, ah, yes. Uh, above the eyes. All right, let me catch up on chat. Above the eyes is good, but below just got a bit smaller. Yes, it went a bit narrow, didn't it? From looking at it. Just gonna have a have a analyze myself whilst I can look at it in the camera as well, which helps. Just got water at the moment. I could do with uh, I could do with some more coffee a bit later. But I've got some water for now. And what else? Just catch up on the thanks. Didn't necessarily mean this particular drawing, but it seems could make a bit of money doing this. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's something I'm considering, Buddha. Let me just type that in. Well done. Um, it's yeah. I haven't sold any so far. No, I'm doing a. Um, I'm doing the giveaways at the moment with some of the earlier ones. Da -da -da -da, uh, Evil Dinner. Da -da. Ah, good. Hello, Mint Songs. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. There are like grey items worth tons, like Potion of Luck. Uh, you need them for changing from mastery and alchemy. Ah, is that from the other question? which I didn't actually were able to read. So, looking at this, I borrowed my son's rubber, so what we're going to do is I'm not so keen on the back end. The back end to me, this back leg is completely pointing the wrong direction and it makes me look like the bum is showing. So I'm going to take out this back section. And realign the hips. Better to do it now than further on in the drawing. I quite liked that foot. I'm going to keep that one in. Just being a bit lazy. No worries. I don't mind so much. So. I've so long as, I mean, the question's directed at you anyway, so uh, I don't mind how people answer, but obviously others reading in the chat would find it easier in, um, in the default language. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make the whole head 
a little bit bigger, but I'm going to keep I'm going to keep this part. So I'm going to get rid of that part and then bring the head down here a little bit lower and a little bit wider perhaps. So I'm going to take out the main part of the face and I'll take the eyes out because then that's going to be my key line and maybe that ear. So I know it looks a bit drastic, but what we're doing here is making sure that we've got it how we want it. So looking back at the face that we just drew, we're going to make it a little bit wider. So this big circle is going to be the main area of the face. And then the eyes I'm going to bring in line here. And then the the snout I'm going to have down here, perhaps. And I've tilted it a bit more. That gives me a bit more of a jaunty angle, which looks quite nice. So I'm just trying to picture, um, looking back, looking back at the hole. Trying to think of the size. So, if I was to do the eyes now, I would stick an eye in here and an eye in. Would it be there? Just going to work that out. get the corners in of the eye and that would be where I would want to draw them in just picturing it the whole trying to imagine the whole thing as I look at it and then I can put the the nose back in these are the landmarks if you think landmarks as in um, the key points then you can then you can work it out from there so that floofy area around there floofy area around there then the two bigger areas there. How's that looking on the actual camera? That seems a bit more a bit more in line, I think. Um, oh it's TSM4 um, Costa for the oh that's for the um, that's for actually getting the beta though. In terms of um, Put up that link to help me set up for for YouTube videos. Um, I've got my YouTube channel. Um, um, did I, let me just type those in. Let me have a look. Um, is um, YouTube or to sign up for TSM Beta is T 
TSM4. There we go. Hope, sorry for the spam in chat, but hopefully those would. Uh, those are. There we are. I think I've caught up with everything. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it sounds like my Evanescence is finished. So let's go on to another one. Let's pick a zone. I think um, Elwyn Forest would be quite nice. Let's try that one. If that works. Oh, skip the ad. Hold on. <laughs> the drawing ad. There we go. Put that in the background. There we go. So. Put it on YouTube channel. Pretty cool, thanks. Let me just type that in. I'm going to move my keyboard setup. It's a little bit awkward here at the moment. Adblocker Pro Sam and won't get the commercial. This is true evil dinner, um, but coming from a YouTube person myself, it's the ad revenue that helps you monetize your YouTube videos. So I personally have them turned off. That's just a preference for me. Uh, no, personally have them turned on as a preference simply because if you are on YouTube, that is the only way you can get a um, get your 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 channel monetized in any way. So by default, I tend to keep them on. But that's just me. I mean, obviously, everyone else has their own preferences. I mean, my channel isn't monetized at the moment yet. Anyway, my YouTube channel. So I need to have a thousand subscribers before I can even apply. I'm supposed to have also 4,000 hours watch time. I've already gotten 15,000 hours watch time, so that one's covered. It's just the subscribers I'm missing. That will come in time. Um, if you haven't subscribed and would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, that would get me closer. I'm at about 780. There we go, pop that in there. So how does that face area look on the camera? Just gives me a good idea there, I think. So what we'd need to do here is then, ah, oh, good morning, Nix, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Already did, well, thank you, uh, Evil Dinner, it's very kind of you. Let's put in some cheek floof and then this side that's where you found me well was it evil dinner excellent well that's what I'm, I'm pleased about is that one does lead into the other so if people can find me on twitch through YouTube and that's great and vice versa then that's mission accomplished in my eyes it's just a way of reaching out to people Turn that one down a little bit. Turn that one down there. There we go. Just getting some coffee and restock and do your dailies. Sounds like a plan. I haven't uh, logged on in a while myself, so everything has probably expired. Now, I'm going back to where I was before with my eyebrow marks. Which then gives me an anchor point for my ears, which means this ear is here, like that, and with a bit of tufts of fur that come out of an ear, and on the back of the head, 
now that we've done that too narrow, so we can take some of these off and go the central peak there and then work these ones out. Can't undercut me since I haven't got, since you haven't got time to play. Well, that's that's fine, uh, Nix. I, I honestly don't mind. I mean, I expect it to be to be fair. If I'm not on, then I can't relist my auctions, and so a natural consequence of that is I won't get as many sales. But that is that is part of the game. A lot of the thing people sort of don't always think about when making gold in World of Warcraft is that the time amount of time you can spend on the game does directly influence the amount of gold you make okay I think actually that needs to be bigger rather than doing little tufts here let's make some bolder ones longer longer and more interesting. That gives some volume to the back of the head there. Right, so the head's much bigger now. Probably needs, looking at it, a little bit more volume to the side, but this is condensed here anyway. And then these big Shoulder fur comes off here anyway. And then we've got chest hair down here, which is always really nice to draw in because Oreo, my other cat, has lovely soft chest hair down here. Doesn't tend to like being stroked, but he would have. These are almost clumpy feather-like, but it gives you a really nice impression of where everything comes from. And then the body hair comes around like that. Okay. Yeah, much. I think so, Costa. I think that was a good call, good shout out for that. Thanks for uh, pointing that out. Sometimes it's difficult to see when you've got when you're not looking back on your drawing enough. Looking at the eyes, the eyes look like they might be a little bit out of alignment, but I'll work on that when I come to do... because this one's a little bit more muddy. But I'll work on that when I come to do the actual pencil drawing side of things. I think you followed me on YouTube before Twitch, that's where you found me. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mint Songs. So... Here to here, body, that's going to have the, um, the other armour in it in a minute, which is going to come, that's big massive sort of elbow armour that covers that shape. Just going to sketch that in now, Get the great big blades coming on here. There we go. was also surprised because I'm on your all-time server. You've been a Shadow Singer since vanilla, have you Mint Songs? Oh welcome, I didn't realise that. I'm a... Uh, we've got another Shadow Song person in, which is fantastic. There's me, Nix, Bark2, we're all on Shadow Song. Gumdrops used to be on Shadow Song, and then moved to Ra Ravencrest. Okay, that's. I'm gonna just losing that line a little bit there. Let's just take that off. It's got a little bit muddy. That rub is not quite as uh, clean as I would have liked. There we go. We can draw that line in though. That's fine. And you as well, Evil Dinner. Fantastic. Veritable party on Shadow Song. Not since vanilla, but still, yeah. I think it was because it was one of the 
I mean, I just picked it randomly when I started in vanilla. I was like, okay, that sounds cool. Let's go with that. A lot of your friends moved to Magtherian. Okay, and Kazakh in Burning Crusade. And you stayed on Shadow Song. Oh, cool. Oh, yes. I remember now your dinner. Okay. That is there. Now, I've turned this more towards me. So if I'm looking at my drawing here. This this one is more side on. Whereas I've turned mine slightly more towards camera. I brought the brought the pour in and, and angled it round. Should rename it to Lagzak. <laughs> is that what it's like, Kropata? And thanks for stopping by the stream as well. Um, so now I'm looking at the back, the back end, which I want to correct. I'm not sure actually whether to move this further up. There's actually some overlap going on here, I think. Because the body's coming down here. I can probably afford to push this out a little bit more. So let's just take this out, take this all out. And we don't need to be locked down by the tail either, so we can redraw the tail back in. We have to take all the back end out. Well, this is where. Oh, I just dropped my pencil. There we go. Posting a hundred auctions on Kazakh can easily take ten minutes. Wow, that's. That's that would be frustrating. I would I would hate to do that. So now we've got no back end, so we're also close to the edge of the paper. You need to post in batches of 30 on Kazakh. That doesn't sound fun at all. I would not enjoy that. But what I want to do is think about this body shape. Think about where I'm going to take the rump. Where's that? Because we did have this flowing line, which I still want to keep. This way, I'm going to bring the tail round. It goes long. Oh, you're losing it on the edge here. Let me move the drawing across. Along the head and then round. Which means I've got room to put. There's a hip here. There's a leg here. And this will come back in on itself. I'm going to place the paw down here. I think um, some of the smaller uh, realms would like to be merged more around BFA, though. Oh, and hi, Wira. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, do you think so? Uh, good evening, gum. Good evening. Good morning, gumdrops. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting if they do merge more servers in. Now, normally I would like to get this back leg right at the back, but I'm running out of page space here. So I'm thinking where I can place it that's going to look about right. Probably, actually, I think I've gone too far. I need to move this a bit further forward because you look at this 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 area is is too is too long so it makes the back end look stretched out which you wouldn't have even if there's a, a slight side on the back end is more 
more going to be here. So we're trying to get an, uh, a happy medium between the two, or where I did it originally, and where I've got it now. Oh, was there an announcement we were on? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, looking at my drawing, we've got the main leg here. This is a bit too compressed for my liking anyway. So I'm going to I'm going to do this. This is much bigger actually. You look at the cat's back leg, it's all muscle. I'm just going to try and place this down. Hip joint, leg joint, knee joint, back to ankle, down to foot, and there is the paw. Something like that. Uh, what do they say? But see what servers they are before they merge together. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Very interesting to see. I mean, Shadow Song has got um, Azuna as the um, one it's merged with at the moment, but I'd be interested to see if it gets merged with anyone else. That would certainly be interesting. Uh, yeah, I want that line. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do this more side-on, a bit like... That's... I think that placement-wise, I'm just trying to work out the weight of this foot. Thinking the anchor points. Thinking where the knee would be. There's a knee joint there. The knee goes like square off and then it goes down there. Like that. And then that gives me room. With the chest going underneath and up here. So we've got the angle. We've got the large bulk of the body here which is there, and then we've got the, the thinness of the waist here, and then the big bulk of the leg, which you definitely want, because these are big, you know, these are pouncing animals. And then, like the model view has gotten the back leg just off to the edge, I'm going to take that one I would kind of want to put it down here somewhere. But here, if I... If I bring it out... Oh, no, that doesn't look quite nice. It's just trying to think of the angles here. Leg, leg, the hips here. Let's put the paw behind this one. Like that, see how that looks. Then the tail. That looks a little high to me. Let me just hold this, I'm just gonna hold this further away so I can have a look at it. so important to get the placement of the feet correct on something like a, a four-legged animal. Because I can see there the front right paw is out. Using that as an example, this is all wrong. That's looking like it needs to come. Where would I want to put that? Um, sorry for the angle on the camera here, I'm just holding it up to my face whilst I work it out. Yeah, I'd want it much higher up here. It would be where I'd put that.
is that is going to be flattened down with the armour things. And then that line, that line lines up with that more. Which means I'm going to swish the tail round. So it fits in the drawing. Like that, and then have the tuft in something like that. I don't like to bend the tail around too much, but I have kind of run out of paper size off the side. So we can see the whole thing there. It's, it's a bit contrived having the tail up like that. In fact, we could probably Rather than having it up in the air like that, which is a bit kind of exposy, we can bring it down. You almost make it snake like. And have it just come out the side here. Then that keeps the line of the of the uh, body. Again, it's still contrived because this is this is super bent. Ideally, I'd have given myself some more space to do the tail properly. But I think that's going to be okay. Let's just have a look at that. I'll look at it in the camera so I can see roughly where everything's positioned. Good to hear, Gumdrops, good to hear. How are you getting on with your um, Wow Economy article? Are you having your poached eggs this morning? Good restock and dailies. Yep, the life of a gold maker for sure. All right, okay. We also need some rump stripes and tufts of fur. Yeah. Which is going to cover the tail slightly anyway. Like that. Almost a tradition now, <laughs> yeah. That's a good way to start your morning, that's for sure. Okay. Moving on to shoulder. Well, this does have a strap on it. So I need to just cover that that area down. It gets lost in the fur down here. And this back area, I'm going to need some fur in here because this actually covers the whole shoulder. Again, I could probably make that shoulder bigger. Let's look at it in the camera view. There you go. Hey, uh, Doppelbock, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, oh, it's a bit laggy today doing your reposts, uh, Nick's. Not looking forward to that. How are you, Doppelbock? Hope you are well. Let's have a look. This is this has turned into a bit of a mess. Let's clean this up. Then we can start thinking about doing some actual lines in here. So we want this. This is the big additional claws. Because the paw just comes in here. And this is gives some extra claws. I can't imagine trying to run with this armor on as a can. It just makes it too, too awkward if I was a cat with this great big piece of armour. 
on, it would make it super duper difficult. And I'm going to draw this slightly differently because I've got a longer, a longer arm than they have drawn here, which could be an issue. Well, let's just draw the shape in and see how it looks. Draw that, draw the curve in, draw the next curve in. draw the second line underneath that and then I can do the paw in that space which means the daggers of the claws come in here and here gives me a better shape. There we go. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, duh. Never had poached eggs yourself. Uh, I think I might be having pancakes this morning. Nice! like the idea of pancakes. Got store bought meatballs. It back backfired badly. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy crabata. Poached eggs definitely are great. I concur with um, gumdrops on that one. Especially if you can get them super duper fresh. So you also need now this this one. This one's angled quite a bit, but mine's more upright, which is what I wanted to have a more upright pose and a bit of a wider stance. So I'm going to angle mine not so high. So mine's going to come in around there and around that's actually going to come around a bit more that side and that side to give you that shape which means this tuft is there any actually armour on there? looks like it's looks like it's a strap of some kind it's another plus one for poached eggs from our nota. Yeah. I'm just going to draw some lines on here to give myself an idea of the direction of the fur. Because this is going to come along the back. Cover that shape like that. Deviled eggs. I've never had deviled eggs. What what actually are deviled eggs? Um, I know. Are they like spiced? Let's move this out of the way so we can see this. We need a bit more space. Right now we can see better. Um. Right. Where are we at? Drawing wise, okay. It starts with a boiled egg, okay. That's wrong. with paprika powder. Okay, liking the sound of that. Um, then you like cut it in half and keep the yolk part, add some spices and mayo, a little mustard, make a sauce, you put that back inside the white part. Ooh, that does sound good. 
and garnish with paprika. I like that, I know that does sound nice. Big, big cat paws. I mean, these are super massive. If Oreo was around, you'd be able to see his big paws, um, which look very similar to these uh, druid paws. I'll keep that one there for the moment. Okay, I'm fairly happy with the um, with the layout now. I'm going to have a quick bio break and come back, and I'll have another and analysis of the drawing and then we'll uh, we'll move on to the pencil part I'm back. I'm just making a coffee, so I'm going to get up again in a minute. Hold on. There we go. Um, just catch up on chat. Um, if you want a little spice, though, you can add a dash of cayenne pepper. That sounds cool, Arnota. Oh, oh Miss Synchronicity. Thank you ever so much for the follow. Uh, you got coffee as well. I think that's a fine plan, Arnota. Just waiting for the kettle to boil. 
Uh, let me check Discord. Hold on. I've got so many windows everywhere. I have to move them all around. Ooh. I'm liking the look of that, Costa. That looks awesome. You've just had lunch. Yeah, it's a bit... Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, I might have to think about some food myself at some point. All right, kettle's just boiled. I'll be right back. Self sorted. There we go. Hey Carl, how are you? You're making coffee yourself, installing beta, and checking the mailboxes. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, I've got my coffee here. One coffee. So we're all ready to carry on. So we've got our rough blue outline, our blue pencil, which um, doing very well, thank you very much. We are currently just going through the basics of our druid. So now, moving along, we start to think about the details. The details, the lovely details. I'll just put these drawings away. That's walking around, I don't want to stand on it. Destroying the rug over there, are you? I'm putting a good old scratch away. Right. away. Okay, so looking at the face. Now we do have our, our reference, which is really quite nice. It's got a beautiful face, um, some nice fur detail, but obviously it's just the textures. We want to pull this a little bit more cat-like, perhaps. So the eyes, the eyes are where it's all at. It's all in the eyes. Cat's gone mad, running around. So the first thing is the corners of the eyes, because you want to have those in line with everything, otherwise it's, it's going to be wonky, because we're looking directly at the camera, so there's no real offset. Now there's a bit of bushiness to the eyebrows, looking at that one. so. Gonna go up and across, and then the underside is more. Now this, if we taper this more, that gives us a more angled view. Now I have to replicate that on this side as identically as I can it's always the hard part I'm going to pull that in and then do the round underneath that bit up here maybe a little bit higher and then the line across. Just getting the basic outline first. This is the hardest part, really, is 
it's lining those up. Then with the druid, the glowing blue. So quite how I'm going to do that in here. You want the actual ball of the eye there. And the same there. This is the eye sockets. Now we're looking straight at her, so I'm going to keep those orbs clear for now. Just to give a hint of I'm looking at you. Oh, he's got quite a frown on him. I've not thought about uh, light yet. I'm not thinking we're going to need a lot of light on this. It's going to be mainly texture. So we're just joining up the landmark features. And my nose is quite a bit different from the, the regular one. On the flats. Let's take a bit of theirs, which gives you a bit more line over here, over this side. Quite wide as well, actually. It's quite flat there. But the nostrils coming in. Two wise nostrils here and here. Like that. Still no beta TSM4 cluster. That's a that's a shame. It's uh I'm sure I know, I remember you were saying gumdrops that it's um waiting for the latest sprint to be done. So it's going to be a question of once that's done, I think they'll be releasing some new ones. But the sprint has obviously taken a little bit longer to complete. But maybe if you talk nicely to gumdrops, he can sort you out with one. Yeah, soon TM. <laughs> okay, I'm just just trying to get the Don't wanna to commit myself too much to the shape just yet, other than getting these base definitions out. Because then I can work on the actual um, the furry details and things after I've gotten these main shapes out. Particularly the teeth and the eyes. Gonna draw these in. So that's the main the main just gonna do some little little teeth here. in there. So I've got the basic sort of mouth mouth shape. Just 
all it's all in the fur detail now. Let's get the ears marked out actually. Because they need they need some lines there. No worries, he will get. So we'll get the base, the base shape coming up here with the extra tufts. And then the inner part of the ear, which is going to be a little bit fluffy. It always gets disguised by inner ear fluff. Like that. And then opposite side, the same anchor points here for the back of the head. And the same anchor points here for the front. Gives us those two key parts there for the. These are our landmarks, really, for the for the whole of the the face, and the rest is all fur detail after that. But we wanted to get those in first. Maybe some extra fluff detail in there. And these look quite important. The actual side bits here and the side bit here. Do an extra one in that side there. There we go. Okay. Got your cancel scan takes years to finish. Yeah, I think certain servers can can take a while. If you've got a lot of pages to search, the other thing is to do is to do them in um, smaller chunks. That does make it a bit easier. Today is horrible. You're doing a quest in WoW. Oh, why is why is the quest uh, so horrible, uh, Arnota? Oh, so it's not just you, is it, the Nyx? Okay, there does does seem to be a certain element of sluggishness then. Okay, by by normal comparison. Uh, I'm trying to find this. Um, oh, the mother's skinning knife. I've heard of that quest. I've not done it myself yet. You don't like doing quests? Okay, fair enough. I quite enjoy quests, um, so long as they lead me correctly. If they don't give you clues, then I find that very frustrating. Yeah, I think it's in Stormheim. I'm not familiar with it myself, I haven't done it yet. That's there. That's there. Chin fur is coming down here. A little bit outside. A little bit outside. There we go. Um, check by all the storm drakes, the blue ones. Right, you are. Hopefully, that'll give you some help, Arnota. I look forward to doing that one myself on um, Earthen. Very 
break that a little bit. Keep that line going down. And that one down there. Just get the hand enchant for skinning. Yeah, that is that is true. That hand enchant does does do wonders. The gloves. Right, we've got a bit more of a, a druidy face coming up now. I've got some outlines. Oh, I just want to think about. What kind of fur detail am I going to do? I mean, I've got these bigger lines, which are really helping define the the chunks, the chunks of fur. But I want to think about the texture, the texture I'm going for with this. Do I want to do like like Gen Greymane? We did lots of lots of tiny little fur details. Do I do the same here, the same kind of technique, or do I try something a little bit different? I mean, we've got we've got the fur here. I can do like this. For the cheek, and then we'll be doing similar for the nose. Tiny, tiny strokes would be how I do the nose. Those are the main lines because this gives us our texture, which is what I'm all about when it comes to drawing these kind of things. Um, Remember the 300 auctions and per profession, yep. Yeah. Um, you lost that completely on leather working. You got 397. But 2 million though, that's pretty nice. Um, Council scan and any city invaders always fear everyone in the auction house. What shall I do for this? I'm going to cover it in small details on the nose to give myself something to work with. And then I can think about the depth and how I'm going to draw the rest of this in. So I reckon the details would work doing them like this so long as I think about the light and the shadow as well that's always my mantra so where's the light coming from where's the key light coming from and what's the texture Now I can work in some darkness around those eyes, which gives me a lot more a lot more depth to this. Let's get that in darker. Let's cover that nose. So then we've got some textures to work with. Very top bridge. It's very soft that bridge, top bridge of the nose. And then I'm gonna do this side. 
much darker. And run that through. And do the same down this side. These are almost like cheetah tears. But then we've also got some nice dark lines. Round. Right in the corner. And then the shadow here on this side you definitely want. It's kind of like an overlap. This goes over and that tucks under. And then I'll do the same on this side. Make sure I've got that tucked in. The eyeballs. And then I can go much darker underneath. And then over the top, where we've got the um, bit of shadow perhaps on that side, shadow perhaps on that side, tufts down here and then down there on that side ah oh, Johnny Boy G thank you ever so much for the follow very kind of you welcome on board thanks for stopping by I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday so far Okay, we've got some semblance of detail coming in now. That's the main thing I want to always get out first, is those eyes. Because those eyes... Oh, it was a host! <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, Comjobs, for, the... for pointing that one out. Um, with seven viewers, fantastic. Thank you very much, uh, Johnny Boy. How was your stream? Thank you, Gumdrops, for that. Um, Welcome everyone who's come from Johnny Boy. I hope you've had a fantastic day so far. Uh, my name's Samadan and I mainly play World of Warcraft and make gold. But I also do creative streams like this one. And we're currently sketching a druid in cat form. Which is pretty much a panther. How you already followed. Well, thank you very much, Johnny Boy. Very kind of you for the host. Apologies for uh, mixing that up in the first place. I need to read properly. Uh, yeah, I'm great finishing creating your 11 page of your colouring book. Oh, fantastic. How did it go? Are you, are you pleased with them? some coffee, catch up on chat. Oh, and good morning Mr Grumpyface, didn't spot you coming in there. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I need to change my audio 
notifications between hosts and follows. If I get a better idea. Yeah. Ah, recently finished doing some custom van shoes, nice. What kind of stuff do you draw on the, on the vans? Uh, you have a week off work, excellent. Like the kitty form druid so far, excellent. Thank you, uh, Mr. Grumpy Face. I see you've been enjoying quite a few different games at the moment. How are you enjoying that? that and that and then this I'm going to shade in a little bit I think but we want to keep a bit of lightness because this is um, This is the, the highlight of the nose. Oh, looks like I might have to skip on to another audio track. Let's go Mulgore. Do you want to learn how to skip the ad in a minute? There we go. There we are. Uh, always be a WoW well player, but uh, using stream is an excuse to play new games and old games. <laughs> okay, uh, Gumdrops, thanks ever so much for stopping by. Um, look forward to checking you out later on your stream later tonight. Um, have a great rest of your day. Yeah, it's always nice being able to finish up old games. I haven't. I've got a backlog of games that I've either bought and never tried or just haven't got round to. There's plenty out there that would be nice to play, but I play so much WoW these days. There's so much to do in WoW that I barely have time to do all of that. So I'm sticking with WoW for now personally. But that's only so that I can get everything done. So I want to get all professions done by Battle for Azeroth. I may not get them all done because I've got to level up some characters at the same time. But it's gonna be a gonna be a fun challenge nonetheless. Okay. Starting to get the details in now, so I'm pleased with that. Just gotta think overall texture now. Length of fur wise. Short fur versus long fur versus swirly fur. Yeah. Great and terrible in that you always have something to do. Yeah. That's basically how I look at it. There's always there's always so much to do. You'll never do it all. I can't imagine doing it all. Oh well, thank you, uh Grumpy Face for the sub. Thank you ever so much, it's really kind of you. Okay, Johnny Boy, thanks ever so much for the host. Um, have a great rest of your evening. I hope to see you again soon. Let's pop in some uh, Sam Dan's and thumbs up. Good night, Johnny Boy. And thank you, uh, Mr. Grumpy Face, for the sub. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you, Buddha. Let me just type that in.
can do this side. So we're going to just do... I'm just going to try and do both sides at the same sort of time so I can get the same length of fur detail coming across on each of those. Hey Sharkin, how are you? Thanks ever so much for stopping by, how are you doing? 956. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's come round quick. Oh, I must be two out because it's saying 954 on my OBS. Getting there, getting there. How are you, Sharkin? Thanks for stopping by. shape do I want to do on the muzzle? A well, muzzle fur is really fine on the whole. I'll tell you what we haven't got is whiskers. I've just realised. Obviously the model's not going to have the whiskers and we we can have whiskers because we're drawing them. So I'm thinking we can make sure we put some whiskers in cats have some beautiful whiskers. You definitely want to have those in. Hey Sonic is okay, how are you? Sadly you don't have space for the gin to stream a bit. What do you mean, Nix? I'm not sure I follow you on that one. You don't have the space. Doing very well here, thank you, uh, Sonic Luke. Um, just enjoying casually drawing at the moment. Probably going to have to finish it up soon because my family's going to be back. I'll do this other bit soon, and then we'll um, we'll do the other side. Oh no! Sorry to hear that. Uh, oh, you don't get the space for another monitor. Okay, right. I'm with you now, Nix. Okay. Oh, Moonket. Mooket. Thank you ever so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome on board. I'm going to do a load of small details in here. And then maybe some longer for the longer ones okay. ah well welcome Mooket thank you ever so much some longer longer strokes around the sides here just to fill in this bit get some more details coming through thinking about fur scales and and light and texture at the moment but right Mum of my daughter Morgane. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, I think I'm gonna finish up the stream there. Because the morning is done and I'm starting to get a little bit hungry and my family's due back soon. So I wanna say a big, big thank you to everyone who stopped by and chatted today. And your support has been amazing. Um, this one is, yeah, Night Elf Druid, I think, I'm going to go for. Um, let's just have a look, see who's actually on at the moment. 
I'm not sure whether there is anyone we can throw the host on over to, because not many of my regular people I look at actually stream this time of day. Um, where's my windows? I can't find all my windows. Okay. Um, no, I can't see any, so I shall end it there. So, have a great stream everyone. I'm not on tonight, so I'll be on, on Sunday. And then, basically, um, yeah, so have a great rest of your day. And I shall see you all very soon. Thank you all, and take care. Goodbye.